Steve and Channel. And today I will introduce the IEC 61850. As we know, 61850 is a standard that it designed and uh, described a network and a system that um, for the power utility and um, automation. It, in this standard, it uh, described and designed to use the Ethernet or optic Ethernet to replace the traditional wire uh, for the uh, for the data transmission and uh, uh, data communication mm, because internet is better than the traditional wire because um, it has a better EMC and uh, and the EMI it also um, reduce the cost extremely and also it has uh, the transmission is uh, more safer and uh, quicker than the uh, wires so in 61850 it uh, architect uh, three levels system here we can see The first level is station. And this is we call the station bus. And uh, the first the level is station level. In this level we got uh, the, uh, um, the, uh, the central uh, monitoring and uh, control system of the substation and uh, we also have some for example GPS and so on and the second second is we call the bay level in this level, we have many many IEDs. These IEDs can be um, relay protection or uh, the fault recorder or the just uh, um, monitoring device or um, control device and this level we call the um, process level process box and this level is the process level. In this level, we have the many many the primary device. For example, the CT or the PT or the CBR circuit breaker or the switch gear and so on it is connected to the to the process bus So this is uh, 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 three levels architecture that's described in our uh, 61850 standard. 
So the first IEC 61850 uh, that means a uh, uh, network or a system and uh, use the for our utility automation the communications Architecture. Here we can see three level architecture. That means the station level and the bay level and the process level. Okay. In traditional substation, the the primary device and uh, the and the bay level device are uh, connected uh, directly use a uh, a uh, wire. Uh, the wire has uh, many disadvantages because. Uh, it costs a lot of money and uh, the second it is slow in women uh, it's slow in the transmission and uh, the third it's weak in the uh, EMI and the EMC but in our uh, 61850 all this wire are replaced by the optic fibers yeah, we use optic fibers to build the process box and uh, we transmit the goose message or SV use the optic fiber and here station bus is SMS. Okay, the third one I will introduce uh, the 2.2. That's um, um data transfer method. Method. Okay, we are, next we will discuss how the data transfer and uh, communicate the method has uh, two kind of method um, the first one we call the, the client and uh, server This way, that means we have a we have a client here, and we have a server here. In this kind of mechanism mechanism that means the client send the request to our server and uh, our server will send the request and uh, it will give a response to our client so this kind of 
um, transmission um, uh, mechanism we call it the client and the server. We also call it the M M S and the M M S. Um, we use uh, always use uh, this method to uh, uh, to uh, send the report uh, re re report and uh, some other um, informations. That is the time uh, not time critical. Yeah. Another one is the publisher and the subscriber. This one is another mechanism. Here, let me see. Let us for have an example. We got a publish here. And we have many, many subscribers. For example, subscribe one. Subscribe two. And so on. Subscriber. And we got many many subscriber. When our publish publisher publish the message, it will the message will be received by all these subscribers, and uh, we call this method is multi cast. And we use this multicast to send the goods or SV message to all these subscribers. And this one is the time critical. We, also, we often use this one in this method to send the um, status or the um, or the positions of our primary uh, primary devices, such as the position of a circuit breaker or or the others. Okay. The two point three. Next one, I will uh, introduce how the application go to the communication. For example, here we got a application. And uh, this application will by the M M S and uh, TCPIP and at the last it will it will be mapping to the Ethernet for example it's boost and the SV 
it will be mapping to the ethernet and uh, it will send to the uh, the network sent by the network and uh, the system so the next uh, we will introduce uh, the data um, models in our standards as we all know the 61850 is not only not just a network system uh, used for the power utility automation it also defined and uh, and designed a standard data uh, models that uh, it can be followed by all these um, uh, the IEDs uh, manufacturers uh, so that it will it can made uh, all these manufacturers and all these devices have a uh, good interoperability and uh, interchangeability these mo uh, data models define uh, like this for example Here we have a logic logic device devices logic device and in the logic device we have uh, many logic load for example uh, we got a uh, uh, CP, CBR1 and uh, maybe CBR2 and, uh, and so on in each of the node node here we may got a, a data class for example the position of the circuit breaker so this is we call the logic logic load the logic load is a container that um, can contains the uh, data data class for example this position is a data class here uh, has many many data class here and uh, each data uh, data object sorry it's data object and each data object we can have a uh, data attribute such as the um, state value variable here this we call the data attribute so we can here say we got the not cloud not not device and uh, in the logic device we have uh, a lot of logic load and in the logic load we have a lot of data data class so 
each logical node represent the function logical node represent the function element so it is the data models with this standard models we can use the data and the data attribute to uh, in, a, in a standard so each other um, each other IEDs can um, use the data so it has a very good uh, interoperability the fourth SCL file SCL file SCL file that is a um, file that contains all the information and uh, the data models um, of the substation. So we open you um, so the SCL file can use the in the um, in the substation engineering. Station engineering. Okay. The next, the next is uh, the IEC sixty one eight fifty testing. In this section, I will introduce um, uh, the test. The test object and the test reason and the test method. Okay. In next lessons, I will introduce the IEC 61850 test and the test object, test reason, test method. That's all about the fundamental introduction of the 61850. If you are very interested in it, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.